Well, since FOPA News, formerly known as Fox News, has decided to become the Bud Light of conservative media, I think it's time they got Bud Light treatment. It's boycott time. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! You can't handle the truth! Hi, I'm Pastor Marty, and this is the Afternoon Drive. Thank you so much for watching. I'm getting ready to do a rant, but make sure you're a subscriber to the channel. Just go ahead, check. Even if you've already subscribed, YouTube likes to help me out and occasionally purge the roll. So make sure you're still subscribed. If you've never subscribed, please do so. Smack the bell, click the word all to get notifications of all of my rants. The firing of Tucker Carlson on Monday literally sent shockwaves through the lying legacy corporate corrupt mainstream media. Now, it was hard for CNN to take a big victory lap when that same day they had also fired Don Lemon. I'm not saying a lot about that. You know, Don Lemon is shocked that nobody from management told me. I had to find out from my agent. Um... You know, when it's time to go, just go. I mean, really, what do you want? Management to do, come in and tell you how much they love you, but that there's the door? I mean, that's disingenuous. You know what? Move on, but you can't because you don't have the following that a Tucker Carlson has. You're pretty much done. You're yesterday's news. And if you didn't think you were going to get fired based on all of the crapola you put your network through, you got demoted, they had to send you to... Uh, sexist sensitivity training for crying out loud. I know you thought because you are black and gay, you were untouchable, but apparently the powers that be said no, goodbye. And that's the same thing that has happened to Tucker Carlson. This whole idea that was mutually agreed upon. No, all that means is this. When they say it's mutually agreed upon, the way it works is this. Tucker, you're done. If you make a stink, we're not going to finish paying out your contract. And these pending litigations that could be coming against us, you, we're not going to have your back on. You will become financially liable. There is supposedly a producer of Hebrew descent who found a comment that Tucker made to be sexist slash uh, anti-Semitic. Then there, of course, you know, certain members of even the liberal media yesterday trying to put off that Tucker was fired over the Dominion scandal, and that's simply not the case. Uh, Tucker was number one; he was never even named as a defendant, and you know, he was one of the people saying, "Look, you're going way off on the deep end on this," and he called some of the super Trump zealots. Uh, on the whole Dominion voting machine, you know, that, uh, you know, wh where's your evidence? You know, you got to back this up with more than just hearsay or, you know, these wild accusations. Where's your evidence? Now, Tucker's been really clear about, yep, I think there were things that went on during the election of 2020 that definitely raise eyebrows and ought to be, you know, danger, Will Robinson, danger. But um, he was far from the where where some within the Trump team were, especially guys like Lou Dobbs on Fox News. And, you know, Fox News created this problem for itself. They called Arizona way too early in the night. The Trump supporters got angry about it. Then Fox only tried to walk it back, but then they overcorrected. And they created this nightmare for themselves. And any text messages or emails of Tucker's, what it revealed was that he was basically saying how what idiots his bosses were and how they mishandled the whole situation. So Kyle Kalinske over there at Secular Talk. First of all, I'm glad you kindly figured out, white boy, you don't look good in the Eminem hairdo, especially since you're supposed to be getting married and Crystal Balls has children. You're going to be a father figure. God help us. God help those kids. But, you know, thank you for at least going back to a normal hair color. But now I see you've got like Teen Wolf sideburns coming in and your, your, your three little earrings. 
you know, you talking about, ah, you know, Fox News had to fire him because of the whole Dominion blah and the lawsuits. See, this is, this is, this is your problem, Kyle. You turn the camera on because you want to bring the breaking news that Tucker's been fired and you're too much of an idiot to actually process what happened. That said, uh, there's also Ray Epps is out there saying that, you know, Tucker Carlson destroyed my life. Uh, no, Ray, you destroyed your own life with the, we got to go into the Capitol, into the Capitol. And when 60 Minutes asked the FBI if Ray Epps was an informant, they gave that typical, weaselly, middle-of-the-road Bill Clinton, well, it depends on what your definition of is, is. And the FBI's answer was, Ray Epps is not an employee. Now, that's not what we asked you. Was he an informant on January the 6th? Ray Epps is not an employee. There's no there, there. And as soon as they say that, you know there is definitely a there, there. So, you know, did Fox News, Rupert Murdoch, I'm sure a lot of this has to do with the, the release of the videos that Tucker did that was explosive to the point it warranted... Uh, you know, Chucky e. Schumer getting in the well of the Senate and demanding the firing of Tucker Carlson. And he got it. Because God only knows what the intel community has on Rupert Murdoch and his sons. Bum, ba dum, bum. Oh, there's the other shoe to drop. And uh, Tucker Carlson was really kind of establishing himself as the anti establishment guy in cable news. He was doing what a lot of guys do right here on platforms like YouTube, Rumble, uh, Spotify, and other social media platforms. <clears throat> and he was doing it at Fox News. He was the only one worth watching at Fox News. He gave Fox their ratings. Now, I know what Fox News is thinking. The brand is bigger than the individual. <clears throat> you think about it. <clears throat> they, uh, they got rid of Bill O'Reilly a few years ago, and they did just fine. And they think they're going to be able to do this again. But it's a different time. Things have shifted. The vast majority of conservative media is happening on the internet. It's not happening <clears throat> on cable news channels. <clears throat> and so, uh, you know, back in the day when you, when you uh, took out Bill O'Reilly, you 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 killed him. You you killed his audience. He's back trying to do his own thing now. But um, I, I I don't want to be mean, and this is not a personal attack on him. I'm simply making an observation of how others would see Bill old and irrelevant. You know, he went on Chris Cuomo's show. That's you know on that fledgling what is it News Now network, which has got what maybe fifty thousand viewers a night. Um, so. You know, it's it's a different time. Now, a lot of people like Megan Kelly and 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 Dave Rubin and others are saying, you know, Tucker's going to strike out on his own. He's going to be absolutely fine, maybe, and eventually he'll be fine. If this whole mutual agreement that Tucker's going to move on, which means Fox is going to pay out his salary, you know that comes with strings attached. If they're promising, look, these impending lawsuits, the Ray Epps sues, we'll cover it. If this producer sues over the anti-Semitism, we'll cover it. But you compete against us. We're going to void your contract. We'll stop paying you. And you will become financially liable for these lawsuits. So this might be a way that Fox News has a way of blunting Tucker Carlson. So that when eventually he does come back, it'll take him a little while to build an audience, but he will. He will. But, uh, you know, to a certain segment, the older people of the conservative movement, you know, the the, the nursing home crowd, the, the senior adult crowd, you know, well, he's not really on TV anymore, so he's kind of irrelevant. Now... That may be the perception they would love to spin about Tucker, but Tucker will have the ability 
if he goes online and does his own thing, to reach a whole new, even younger demographic than he's ever reached before. So I do believe that eventually Tucker will be okay, but I don't know that if immediately he could start a podcast. It would be great if he could, and maybe he can, but if he's part of a non-compete, non-disclosure thing, and he's getting his money, you know, Fox may be able to even keep him off of podcasting uh, until... Uh, his contract is up. So we'll see. But as far as faux pas news, Fox News, it is boycott time. And try this at home. Ask yourself, is any news organization you know of so corrupt that it's willing to hurt you on behalf of its biggest advertisers? Wow. Anyone who do that is obviously Pablo Escobar level corrupt wow. and should not be trusted. Wow. What would that look like? That level of corruption. Wow. Well, imagine that the Trump administration had made it mandatory for American citizens to buy my pillow. That's one of Fox News' biggest advertisers. Imagine the administration declared that if you didn't rush out and buy at least one my pillow, and then at least another booster pillow, you would not be allowed to eat out. You couldn't re-enter your own country. You couldn't have a paying job. My pillow, they told you with a straight face, was the very linchpin of our country's public health system. Now imagine as they told you that, that Fox, as a news organization, endorsed it, amplified the government's message. Imagine if Fox News attacked anyone who refused to buy my pillow as an ally of Russia, as an enemy of science. And then imagine that Fox kept up those libelous attacks, even as evidence mounted that my pillow caused heart attacks, fertility problems, and death. If Fox News did that, what would you think of Fox News? Would you trust us? Of course you wouldn't. You would know that we were liars. Thank heaven Fox News never did anything like that. But the other channels did. The other channels took hundreds of millions of dollars from big pharma companies. And then they shilled for their sketchy products on the air. And as they did that, they maligned anyone who was skeptical of those products. At the very least, this was a moral crime. It was disgusting. But it was universal. It happened across the American news media. They all did it. So at this point, the question isn't who in public life is corrupt, too many to count. Who is it? The question is, who is telling the truth? Oh, my God. No one. No one. I didn't see this. No wonder they fired him. Are you kidding me? So does he laid it out? He, <clears throat> he's, he's giving the game away and he's the number one news show on it. And because and the reason why Tucker Carlson is able to tell you this truth about how the advertising game works in corporate news is because they took away all his advertisers. And so now he's free to say that kind of stuff. And but apparently he wasn't because the hammer came down from the top. And this was again, let me throw it to you, Aaron. What do you think that this was? Well, so he's we have the clip there. He's challenging Big Pharma, but also nobody on cable news was even close to him, no. even comparable in challenging the war state. Right. Not even close. No one covered the issues that he did. And we'll get to that in our next segment. He also featured leftist voices like us. That's right. Which nobody else would Nobody do. would bring on. And the, the, the reason why me, you, Glenn Greenwald, go on Tucker Carlson, uh, to, because MSNBC, CNN, ABC wouldn't bring people on who had an anti-war message or wanted to debunk Russiagate. Even, even a, a Democracy Now! stopped bringing people on. Now, I know many of you don't watch Fox News at all anymore, and I had given up Fox News literally for years, and I did it right after the re-election of Barack Obamas. Why? Because it was obvious then that Fox News was making a moderate shift, big time. You know, that's when Hannity got bounced to 10 o'clock, Megyn Kelly got the 9 o'clock hour, um, you know, there was just some stuff going on. And then you had the whole Roger Ailes and what a, what a, what a, what a sexual harassing, uh, dirt bag he turned out to be. And, you know, there certainly was enough within late night comedy, making fun of Fox news about, you know, you can only be a female, uh, reporter on there if you're blonde and got great legs and are willing to show them off. Uh, you know, th that was kind of the Fox brand. And by the way, Megyn Kelly even talked about that when she went on the Howard Stern show. So I had stayed away from Fox News literally for years. And, you know, Five Line Hannity came out every night with the same five talking points. And he was constantly interrupting his guests. You know, well, I said in my monologue, blah, 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 blah. do you agree with what I said? And I'm thinking, 
Don't you bring these guests on to hear what they have to say? Are you really this insecure that you just bring guests on to affirm everything that you just said that we already heard you say ad nauseum? And then he would... Hannity is obviously a man of very low education, I'm sorry. And every time he learns a big new word, boys and girls, he's got to use it over and over and over. And I remember a few years ago, he learned the word specificity. And he was constantly using it with great specificity. Specificity. He'd use that word five, six times in the same sentence. And I'm thinking, okay, his wife or somebody has got to tell him, stop saying specificity. So Hannity is controlled opposition. That's all he is. Now, I'm told by people that Hannity does know the truth about things, and he wants to say more, but of course he doesn't because he likes the paycheck. He likes the fame. He likes having his face on the, the Fox building and on the billboards and on the digital readouts on Times Square. Hannity is caught up in his own celebrity. Um, my prediction is they move Jesse Waters into the Tucker time slot. Um... Gutfeld wanted to say something about Tucker not being there. He wanted to say it during the five, and Judge Janine told him, move along, move along. Because Judge Janine didn't wanna, doesn't want to give up her gig, otherwise she might not be able to afford her next uh, facelift. So, uh, you know, she's in competition with Nancy Botox Pelosi, you know, which, which crypt keeper can still try to think they can pass themselves off as a prom queen. It isn't happening for either one of them. That all said, Fox News is not conservative media. It is not, it is not, it is not. It is a softer version of CNN. They will punch holes in certain things that CNN and PMSNBC say, but they never tell you what needs to be done. And you have Sean Hannity that gets on there and says, I'm sick and tired of these Republicans that have got no backbone, blah, 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 blah. And then an hour later, he has them as a guest on his show. I don't, we're not going to win anything. Just listen to Sean whine about it. Tucker Carlson was unique. He had leftists on. He took positions that nobody else in the conservative established media was taking, especially against Ukraine. And really, really, he was zeroing in on the farce that was J6. And by the way, their Fox Nation, their digital, their online presence, that was a creation of Tucker Carlson. And is going to bomb and bomb big. And it needs to. And this is the whole point of my rant today. Boycott Fox News. Boycott, 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 boycott. And if you can even get your cable subscriber or, or your cable provider or your satellite provider to drop Fox News uh, from your, your service, Fox News needs to visibly see you can't do this anymore. We're not putting up with it no more. You took the one voice, the one true conservative voice on there, and you've kicked him to the curb because you think you're bigger than your talent. Dan Bongino last week, Tucker this week. Laura Ingram has nothing to worry about. Brett Baer has nothing to worry about. That that human feces in shoe leather, uh, Neil Cavuto has nothing to worry about. Fox News is what it is. It's Bud Light. CNN is Budweiser. Fox News is Bud Light. So let's treat Fox News like Bud Light. Boycott, boycott, boycott.